Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 19th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet and another shaky, shaky day on this planet as the earthquakes have continued all night long. We just had a recent one, 6.9, four kilometers south of Belenting, Indonesia. Now, this was just recorded. I'm not sure on the depth yet. But we're also going to be looking over tropical storms from around the world and also the major weather events as we're looking at flooding, earthquakes, fires, droughts, all sorts of things going on in our world today. And I want to thank you for joining me as we're going to run through it all right now. Pacific Disaster Center showing us all the alerts over the last 24 hours. Hurricane Lane still ramping up. Typhoon Sulik is a very strong storm. We also have this new one, Kimarin. Boy, oh boy. Thank you for joining me. My prayers and my thoughts are going out to all the people in Indonesia as they are unsure of what is next to come in this area there's been so many deep earthquakes stay aware and prepared as I said before and many times before have a plan because these disasters are happening more frequently here we are looking at the smoke from the BC fires this is insane there are over a thousand fires burning in British Columbia but yeah, the major thing here that I wanted to talk about was the 6.9 earthquake is followed by a 5.4 and a very pretty shallow earthquake. 6.9, 4.6, 4.7, 6 6.3. This was at a 20 kilometer depth, so large shallow earthquakes coming after large deep earthquakes. 6.3, this one was shallow as well. And I'd love for you to guys go check out my friend Mark Mucci on YouTube. Uh, he is an earthquake forecaster as well. And he's been bang on recently with his forecasts. I'd like you to check out his channel. Here's the link right there. And I'll also leave a link in the description. He's a good friend of mine. I'd appreciate it if you check him out and subscribe to his channel. So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Very, very busy. We had that coronal hole that was facing Earth, but we also had a plasma ejection from the sun. And we're gonna get into that later on today with the next video, as we're gonna be looking at the monitors. But yeah, we had some movement in Italy again, and also in Greece. These are pretty sizable earthquakes, 4.2 and a 4.4. We also had a 4.8 in Pubu, China. And also another one here in Perimen, Indonesia. So it's been very busy. And thank God that you guys are here watching us today. God bless you all. And thank you for subscribing to Morning Dew. I've gotten over 300 new subscribers this month. And I want to thank you and welcome to Morning Dew daily events worldwide. We're going to look at uh, tropical storm coverage from around the world. We've got three major storms brewing. First one is Sulik, or sorry, Lane. This is Hurricane Lane, and who is most likely not going to hit Hawaii. Just run underneath of it. Also looking at Typhoon Sulik who is right now a Category 2, turning into a Category 3, heading towards Japan and South Korea. Another one right behind it, Kimarin, who is a very big storm. I'm kind of worried about the size of this thing. Look at these cloud tops. Wow. This is going to be a nasty storm. Now, both of these storms are tracking towards Japan and then leading into South and North Korea. 
and we're going to look at that right here with our five-day forecast from Meteo Earth. And here is the track of Hurricane Lane. You can see just going 20, maybe 50 kilometers south of the Hawaiian Islands. But that track could change. We know that. Mother Nature is very unpredictable. But look at these paths for both of these storms. One heading to Japan, the other heading to South and North Korea. Wow. So, extreme weather event coming towards Japan and Korea in the coming days. Still lots of monsoon rains developing. Not much happening in Europe. Over North America, I don't know if anybody else in Alberta has noticed, but it was 8 degrees last night. It was a very cool night. We had that cold front coming from the north, and it came quick. Yeah, the smoke filtering the sun has kind of helped cool things down. But when you think of all these fires and volcanoes bursting from around the world creating cloud cover, it's going to start cooling things down. Uh, later on through the week, we're going to be watching this large low pressure development Watch for possible snow on the back side of this low pressure system throughout the Colorado mountains, but also watch for extreme thunderstorms and tornado warnings as that low pressure scoops across. Watching these large low pressure systems over the Alaskan Peninsula. Watch for an uptick in seismicity later in the week through Alaska and Russia again. And looking in the southern hemisphere, still lots of very large, vigorous, intense, low pressure systems spinning and building. Man, what is going on in our southern hemisphere? I've posted a video before about that. Check it out. Look at that large system in the middle of the Pacific. Almost looks like a typhoon or a cyclone. Man. And we're just going to have a look here over NASA Worldview. This is Hurricane, or sorry, Tropical Storm Salik. Just underneath of it is the second tropical storm. And then overlooking the British Columbia coastline mountains are filled with smoke and so is Alberta we've had air quality advisories for a week now haven't seen the real Sun stay aware and prepared folks have a plan look at this view you can see all the valleys just filled with smoke Amazing, amazing footage from NASA Worldview. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.